Hi Journalism 121, this is a quick way to get photos into your Google Map. So when you're in your Google Map and you've dropped in a pin, you've gone here, you've dropped in a pin, you're going to get, you know, the headline for whatever it is you're doing like Skyline College and then you're going to be writing text in here and then you're going to be adding a photo. So let's go to one I already I have already partially created. You're going to again put your title in here. You have to click on edit if you've already done it once. Click on edit, put Skyline College there, write your text up. And then it used to be that you could highlight something here and stick in a hyperlink, but they've done away with that feature. So now you actually have to uh, write out your hyperlink. Um, no matter how long it is and how ugly it is, it'll have to go in its full form within this text box um, if you want to give your reader something to click on. So we'll save that and actually. I'll show you um, now how to do the picture. So we click on this image. You could upload a YouTube video to go play along with your pin mark here. Um, so if you have any videos that are relevant that you've taken that uh, work with your pin marks, feel free to do that. But most of you are probably going to do image URLs. And what you need here is you can't simply go into your computer and grab a photo you have on your hard drive. Your photo has to be host, hosted on some online site. So that's why I've asked you guys in the syllabus to create an account with Flickr so that you can upload your photos to Flickr. Alternately, you can also do this if you have a Google Plus account. Um, you could grab them from Google. I, I've tried doing it through Google Drive and I can't figure out how to grab um, a link that works this way but I have done it through Google Plus, so I'll show you. I'm gonna go over to Google Plus right now. I've clicked on this, I scroll down, I get to uh, Photos, and it's gonna take me into my Google Plus account. You can see I have one here. Um, and by the way, I don't know if our school allows you guys to do a Google Plus account, so if you don't have one, again, you'll wanna do the Flickr option. So you're gonna see once this loads that there's a whole bunch of family photos in here from my brother's wedding and they were shared with me um, but they're not public and you need to have photos in your map that are public so make sure that that's their um, status is that they're public so but I scroll down here's a photo I do have that's public and um, all I do is right click on it click image location go over to my map pop it in and there it is right there and I can select it and save. Now if I want to do this through Flickr again um, and I'm going to save that. If I want to do this through Flickr I'm going to click edit. I'm going to trash my photo. I'm going to click on this and be at the ready and then I'm going to go over to Flickr and here I've uploaded two, um, two photos from our, our group and I'm, I'm actually you can see that we have photo stream here um, and then we have edit. So I actually was in the edit version and that's where you need to do. You need to click on edit and then you can right click and you have, you have two options. One is you can do the link location and of course that's the easiest way so why not choose that. You can click on it. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not, that's not right. Whoops, let me go back. Um, right click and you can click on, uh, oh geez, I've forgotten which one it is. All right, well, we're going to try right now on screen. Um, I'll go here and I'll do that. No, that's the wrong one. Okay, so let me let me go back to it and right click. It's copy image location. And the, what I had clicked on before is clock. I had picked copy link location and you want copy image location. So now I go into this, click on here, do that, and there is the image. And notice that it's a JPEG. That's what we want from Flickr or from other hosting sites. I'm not sure why in Google Plus you don't need the JPEG um, ending, but do that and it works. So there's another way to do this as well. And go back to edit. I'll trash this picture. I'll put in another one. Um, you can right click and go to view image location and then you'll also see the location there. You can copy it and bring it in and you're done. Okay, that's it.